this is Dane from Penguin Strings here. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I string just my uh, leathers. This can work both for the U and the uh, shooter. So, uh, uh, just going to uh, show you how to do it. This is a quick and easy way. Just stick the bottom one up. Okay, like that. And stick this one right down through there. And as you can see, it does the same thing that all the other stringy methods do. It's just quick and easy. So again, up through the bottom and then down. Up, up from the bottom and down from the top, crisscrossing each other. And then at the end, you can just put one through the hole so they're like this and just do like a regular tie like a shoestring knot and that looks just pretty like good that. and as you can see looks the same same on the other side too so now Jack from Penguin string uh, Penguin Strings is going to show how he does it you want to sit there I would love to sit here. Let me get this undone, peeps. Yeah, so, um, both ways work really well. They both are lined up really well. Just one is faster, one is slower. And, uh, when you sh send your head to penguinstrings.com, we haven't set up our website yet, but we soon will, um... You can tell us if you want a nylon, two use, one shooter, and all that. So, here we go. Alright, what's up guys? This is Jack from Penguin Shooters and Strings. And um, how I do my shooters is I take it one at a time because I like to take my time and make sure I get everything correct. I go over this part and then I go under making sure... With the same that the string. mesh is showing with the same string. And then I go through all the way through until that part is done. Just like that. And I make sure my shooters are, are straight and not like Here, but curvy like that. It will mess it up a little bit. Turn it around so your hands are in the way. Yeah. Just like that. Alright. And I'll take my other one and what I am going to do is go to the bottom string below this first one to cover this part and this will also cover this part right here which is important which is very important otherwise it's gonna mess you completely up so down pull through and then on this side you're gonna go up like a crisscross in a way. Just like that. Yeah, and you're going to keep doing that. You're going to keep doing that until you're done. Each one. And you're going to make sure it's crisscrossing so no mesh is showing. And straight. you got to keep it straight. And straight. And you want to pull the first one very tight. Yes. So that ball hits off that last one and gives you a nice, smooth, and accurate shot. And I don't go through the top one like Dane does. So I just immediately just tie it off. And for uh, middies and attack men to stay fast, I would knock some of these some of this weight off by cutting your string right here. So they're not flying all over. And then light them with a lighter a little bit. So it stops fraying. And then and touch it real fast. All right, that'll press it together also at the bottom you're gonna want to cut that off because that's a good that's a good amount of weight right yeah there. And this is an amp so uh, we it don't sucks. really care about it it sucks but right. um that looks pretty good all right Jack Dane's recording signing off subscribe guys